I had seen many hovercrafts land before, but that day I instinctively began running to meet the vehicle, unconsciously lured toward an encounter that was to change the course of my life. What are you doing there? It was then that I saw him for the first time. Well, I, I was just passing, passing by here. I wasn't doing anything wrong, sir. Was this the spaceport known as the temples? Yes, the temples are over there. Greek temples, the ancient. Do people come here very often? Tourists, and sometimes a mail courier comes from Catania. But no one stays on very long. There isn't even a watchman. There never was, sir, as far as I know. How long has this place been out of action? Ten years, maybe longer, since my father was struck by radiation. Hey, Wally! They're getting away from you! Do you live far away? Come here very often with these animals? Almost every day. Uh huh. Well, you better stay away from here from now on. You understand? Schon gut, Jimmy. Soll ich dir vielleicht in den Schuh reintragen? Nein, danke. Das mache ich schon. Funkkontakt? Ja. Wer ist das? Die Zollüberwachung. Sie werden uns gleich anrufen. Achtung, Floridia 74. Hier, Falco. Habt ihr guten Empfang da unten? Hallo, Sergeant. Ich bin's, Jimmy. Wie geht's deinem Vater? Ich hoffe, etwas besser. Was soll ich ihm sagen? Sag ihm, es ist okay. Soll ich nicht doch lieber die Wahrheit sagen? Nein, ich will kein Mitleid. Ah, George, da bist du ja. Ich habe dich zuerst gar nicht gesehen. Jetzt habe ich euch beide auf dem Schirm. Die haben alles mitgekriegt. Wir sind auf Sendung. Kopf hoch, George. Lass dich nicht runterkriegen. Wir kommen bald wieder. Macht's gut, Freunde. Wiedersehen, Sergeant. Drehen wir noch eine Abschiedsrunde. Gut. Ago, we were locked in with the Temple spaceport, and this room served as a mess hall for hover pilots, conductors, and laser technicians. My syntho cooker was really dancing in those days, I'll tell you that. Well, look who's here, tracking mud on my clean floor. This is a fine time to come home, Jimmy. The oven ejector is acting up again, and you were supposed to repair it. Yeah, yeah. Don't you yeah, yeah, me, young man. I have to fix something to eat for this gentleman, so get on with that ejector. Yeah, Mama. Ist mein Essen fertig? Ja, geh nach oben. Ich bring's dir rauf. Das ist vor acht Jahren passiert, als der Reaktor explodierte. Radioaktive Verseuchung. Und dann wurde hier alles aufgegeben? Ja, aber er konnte hier auf der Radarstation bleiben, weil ja sowieso alles elektronisch geht. Und dadurch konnten sie sich davor drücken, ihm eine Rente zu zahlen. Können Sie mir das warm machen? Nein, nicht doch.
Einfach nur drücken und dann ausgießen. Ja, schau mal, sieht ja aus wie Gelatine. Was kann das sein? Das sind Algen. It's a beautiful shot. We gotta use space lovers down there. We'll feed you some moon music to go with it. Thanks again. Turn it off, Jimmy. It's noise pollution. Do you have any rooms here? Yes, upstairs. We have two. Your lunch, sir. You have anything to drink? What would you like? Drac. And it better be good. Do you get a lot of tourists here? They go straight on to the temples. Greek temples built 4,000 years ago. They come for a day by shuttle plane with their syntho lunches and drinks. They don't spend a thing in here. Two. Always two at a time for me, kid. Yes, sir. Conductor, call me Conductor Bones. <sighs> I think I'll stay. Stay here, here in the Beacon House. But didn't you say you had more rooms? The kid here can look after me. Come on, we'll get my traveling baggage in the air run. Conductor Bones. Come on, come on. What about that stuff? I'll uh, leave those there. I remember thinking there was something very strange about this space conductor, Billy Bones. He spoke of a traveling bag, but we carried in a trunk, a carved chest, and a heavy one at that. Oh, that hasn't been working for years. We'll we'll have to walk. Oh. that window work? Yes, sir, it works. I doubt one could find a more ornery person than what Mr. Billy Bones was. He was displeased at being pleased. Where's the bathroom? Where's the bed? It didn't take me too long to understand that grumbling about everything was just his way of being. I showed him the lodgings. This is the shower? For what they were worth. This is your dryer. And hope for the best. And this is the waste incinerator. Right out of the dark ages. <laughs> he couldn't resist. He had to fuss about something. But he was soon in a good mood, and you'd never guess why. Well, now, what do you think, Miss Giselle, huh? <laughs> huh? We'll be in a high orbit over here, all right, huh? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh. Um. Here, kid. Give them to your mother. These coins are not from these parts, but uh, they're still worth something. Uh, you tell me when my credit's up, huh? Yes, Conductor. Uh, is the water drinkable? Yes. There's a throwaway laundry incinerator in the hall. Oh. If you need anything else, just... Beat it. 
<laughs> he sure was strange. He drank a lot and he laughed a lot. But when you came right down to it, he didn't say much. He gave me the jitters, though. That he did. Temple's mail courier. What's up, Jim? I got a mail drop. Slow down. I'm stopping anyway. I got a passenger. My friend Billy Bones live here? Conductor Bones? Yeah, Conductor Bones. Come with me. Mr. Bones? So this is where he set himself up. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we'll give him a nice surprise. There'll be trouble if you tell him I'm here. Hey, Mary! Billy? Friend Black Dog, huh? It's taken a bit of doing. But I tracked you down. As you well know, I have my ways. Hmm. And that's why they call me Dog. You know, kid, my friend Billy here suddenly disappeared. Why? Where did he go? I asked around and they told me, well, he went down towards Sicily. And here you are. Sit down, Billy. You want a little drink? We'll let this good looking boy get us something, huh? Drac. So yeah. what brings you here? Drac. Black dog. Same for me. Oh, I found a travel agent who told me he went to Selinunte. The temples? Well, I will go to see them too, these temples. Mm -hmm. What could interest him about some temple so far away? Mm -hmm. Right, Billy? Don't you have anything to do, boy? Yes, sure. I've... I've... And finally, I found you. And you found yourself a partner, Billy. It's 50-50 or nothing. You snake. 
You've never changed. Well, you have four days. Four days with a snake? Never. <laughs> And moon rats after my treasure. Work fast. Work. Billy Bones was burying a laser repeater disc. I knew because we had them on our beacon house. But to whom was he signaling? Whom was he guiding in? spying on me. No, no, I wasn't. He had a knack for making me feel guilty. Every time. Go. Go tell your doctor friend that Conductor Bones buried a, a detector. <laughs> and if he finds out, you'll have been the one to tell him. Come here. Come here. You listen to me, matey. I want to tell you something. It was a spaceship called the Bender. It, it was as big as a city, and it shone like a jewel in the night. It flew from Roxa on Altair to Ergot on Vega. We were on the old Dart, which was as small as a clam. <laughs> Actually, we were no match for the Bender. But Arrow, Arrow invented a neutron mine that could pierce the protective screen of the bender like a, a knife through butter. <laughs> Arrow, that's who I'm waiting for. 
<laughs> now, the bender was filled with people from Ergot, all tall, thin, dark. Oh, they have the most beautiful women in the galaxy. That surprised me. I had difficulty imagining Mr. Bones with a beautiful lady. We attacked, and the bender exploded, and everyone and everything regurgitated into space like fireworks. And we came out of the old dart, floating through space to collect all the rich bounty. And it was all done in silence, complete silence. <laughs> Old Flint, the skipper, <laughs> yeah, we took all the risks and he took a third of the bounty. But I know I was the second in command and I can tell you I know where all the treasure is buried. There it was. He said it himself. There existed a treasure. All listed. The cargoes from Beetle Goose to Fomalot. That's why these companions are following me and spying on me. Now that old Flint is dead. Ah, but Arrow. I was glued to his every word. Even though he gave me the jitters. Ah, this'll bring old Arrow. <laughs> his was a great story. But was it true? Or just the ravings of an old space conductor whose mind was whirling in orbit? He would run hot and cold, without warning. What are you doing here? Totally forgetting what he had said only a minute before. You're always following me and spying on me. What are you doing here? Nothing. I saw you run off and... And, and? Did you see anything? No. Uh, I didn't say anything, did I? No. Liar. No, I'm not a liar. Huh. Well, if I didn't tell you anything, then you can't say anything so nobody knows anything. <laughs> but if anybody finds out, I, I'd be afraid to be caught. To be caught. What's your name, boy? What's your name? Jimmy. Huh? Jimmy. Oh! <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> Here, you drive. Really? Drive, boy. Drive. Jimmy. We're getting there. Hang on, Jim. Ah, uh, here it is. What? What's that? The energy level indicator. This is telling us that your conductor Bones is on reserve energy. His wound is not that serious, but his condition, it's disastrous. These old time space conductors are all the same. They start off with one drop pill and two until they lose count. And then the drop burns up their insides. Huh. They think it's smart to avoid purification checks on arrivals and departures. Yeah, they boast about walking around the planets without masks or oxygen supplies, what well, it must be like breathing in sandpaper. Yeah, Jimmy put it on too. Ah. And then they end up like this. Is he really that sick? I'm afraid so. Thanks, Jimmy. It was a curious thing. I mean, I had certainly never liked the man. And yet seeing him there, so helpless, I was suddenly filled with sorrow, with great pity. Well, a normal man would be dead by now. Well, perhaps he'll pull through. But my best. Now, Jimmy, I want you to tell me everything you know. Well, I'm not sure I understand everything about Conductor Bones and Black Dog. Who? Black Dog, that's his name. He's the one who wounded him. They were one's crew members. Doctor! Oh, my God! Doctor! Oh, Doctor, please! Please come!
find a doctor. You, you give no, me a I hand. No, I can't now. The mail courier is arriving. Never Sorry. mind. Hell with the mail. Help me, boy. You won't wait Help me. Person. Help me. I'll be right back. Help me. Don't be afraid, boy. I'm just a poor blind man who lost his sight in combat for the outer system in the outer band. <gasps> I came here to see my friend Billy Bones. Where is he? Upstairs, in his room. He's been sick. Oh, poor Billy. Always traveling around on unhealthy planets. But I have some good news for him. <laughs> Tell him it's the person he's been waiting for. Conductor Bones! Uh, what is it? It's the person you were waiting for. Arrow! 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 Right, Billy? Your old friend, you. <laughs> Where's he going? Ouch! Come back here! Hey, wait, Mr. Bones! I can smell you, Billy. Open up. Be a good fellow. Billy? Open up or I'll have to burn it down. My stick will melt your door like butter. Have you forgotten, Billy? Billy? your arm once. If you try to do anything here, so help me, I'll, I'll break your neck. <laughs> Good old Billy. <laughs> Just the same as ever. All brawn and no brain.
<laughs> so this is where you've been hiding out. Huh? Like a rat. Who told you I was here? Oh, you did, Billy, loud and clear. Mm, all by yourself. Only a bird brain like you would have trusted Arrow with a bundle of money. <laughs> you put all your money on a drunk is what you did. He drank down your life savings, where are you? In just one week. And then he came crying to his mates and spilled the beans, Billy Bones. And he, he gave us this tracer too. But we don't need it anymore now. You can have it back. <laughs> what do you want? You haven't behaved very well. We were all of us together with Flint, and he made us sweat blood. But then when he died and left you the map, you forgot about your chums. You turned your back on us and treated us like we were space gnats. You had no right to do that, Billy Boy. You have no right. What do you mean, I have no right? Ha! Huh, the map is mine. Flint gave it to me. If you fools just whistled away your fortunes, that's just too bad. Oh, over and out. Oh, no, Billy. No, no, no. It's not over and out at all. Your friends see these things quite differently. And you know how tough your friends can be. And if you go along with us, Billy boy, it'll keep you in drop for the rest of your life. You can even bathe in the stinking stuff. Huh? No. No. The map is mine. And I'm not giving it to you or anyone else. Ah, Billy. I made you a decent offer. Other friends won't be as generous. You're a worm, Hugh. Now get out before I kill you with my bare hands. Whatever you say. But you'll have many arms to twist tonight. Far too many for even you. Think it over. Oh, and this is just to remind you that you'll be seeing us at 10 o'clock. Good day. The black mark. Huh? I put the mark of the traitor on me. I've got to get away. Here, boy. You help me. Come, boy. Come. Wait, wait. Oh! Oh, the phone of Iser and call the doctor. No! No, no! state. Mm. I won't say anything. Don't worry. The moment I uttered those last words, they sounded strange unto my own ears. I had become his accomplice with the greatest of ease. The treasure fever had hit me too, full force. Oh my God. But a sudden discovery brought me back to reality, to the strange turn of events that had befallen me. 
The photo visor, Mr. Bones. The blind man ripped it apart. Down, Pew. You killed a man. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, Pew. <laughs> so beware for the mark of the traitors on you and your scheming friends. Oh, Pew. <laughs> hey, wait. A passenger. <laughs> See? <laughs> Mr. Bones! <gasps> Conductor! Und in seiner Kiste hat er eine Menge Geld, möchte ich wetten. Du meinst, dass wir sie aufmachen sollen? Ja. Lock the door, Jim, and turn off the lights. The key. He wore it around his neck. experienced a death before and here there were two deaths within the same day and the sorrow of the first was still fresh in my heart give here hurry there's the chest turn on the emergency light very hard to conceal my excitement at the thought of uncovering the treasure map that Billy Bones had mentioned. Also because my mother's only interest was to get what was owed her. I only want the money that's due me for the damages. And nothing more. Listen, the blind man with his laser stick. Getting in other people, but it's not ten o'clock, it's seven. They're coming early, let's hide. I'm just a dolly made of clay, with little stock in what I say. I doubt I know the time of day, but should a snap break the still, tis Billy's box, believe in its will. Believe what was that? Its will. I'm just a dolly made of clay, with little stock in what I say. I doubt I know the time of day, but should a snap break the still, tis Billy's box, a leave in its will, a leave in its will, a leave in its will. Hurry, Jim. Move on. He's expecting us later. We'll surprise Let's go. him. Can you smell him, Pew? Yeah. Straight <laughs> to the Beacon House. He's in there. It's locked. Well, this is the way to unlock it. <laughs> Get there, Pew. The door. The laziness. Jim. What are we doing? 
shit! Come on! What's that? It's Billy Bones. The lover, he went off his orbit. He's dead? Yeah. See if he has the map on him. Go! Yeah. He weighs a ton. He's all gravity. Oh my god, Jim. We still they won't find us in here. Oh, it's not here. A dirty schema. Upstairs in his room. Let's go. Yeah. Look well, open your eyes for once. Someone's been here already. The mother and the kid. Go tell Pew. That's not the Airbus. Not at this hour. No, it's the custom patrol. If only we had thought of it, of turning off the beacon light. They'd have come down to investigate. You wait here. Where are you going? If you turn it off now, they'll catch on. Don't worry, I'll send the beep through a console and be right back. Search, you lovers! Sniff it out! It's a simple piece of paper with nothing written on it. Don't look for what it's not. Just a simple piece of paper. It's probably right under your nose. Let's get out of here. I smell a rat. The chest was open, and there's no map anywhere. That's not possible, you fools! Oh, if only I had my eyesight! Jimmy, through the console, I... I dozed out the main light. I saw that. The customer patrol's passing now. Let's hope they catch it. Their signal system's out. There's a chopper down there. Give him a call. Temple Beacon. Come in, please. Florida Patrol to Temple. Come in, please. The Custom Patrol. Nobody answers. It doesn't make sense. Take her down. Florida Custom Patrol affecting land check on Temple Beacon. Affecting land check on Temple Beacon. Let's move out. Get around the back. Hey, dog! Hey! Wait for me! They bashed everything in there. Now who's going to pay for damages? Help! Help me! Reach out! You! Give me your hand! Over here, ninjas! Ah! Swing the bombs oh, right now! That's not me! Shut up! Oh, pull me out! Let go! Should I land or come around? Uh, let's check the beacon. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Wait! This stick! Stick the devil, Pew! <laughs> Contact base. What'll I tell him? We're gonna be late? Yeah, late for supper. Good go.
convinced the customs patrol to give me a lift to Dr. Livesey's house. Thanks, Sergeant. The doctor had been like a father to me ever since my own father took ill. There was really no one else I could turn to. And as it happened, that very same day, I made another acquaintance that was to change the course of my life. Who's there? It's me, Dr. Livesey, Jimmy. Come to the other door. Don't worry about the dog. All he does is bark. That day, I met Squire John Trelawney, Count of Ravano, wealthy industrialist and patron of the arts. Keep still, Squire. Turn around. Well, you're in perfect health as usual. Oh, you can get dressed now. You know, your only problem is that you're too rich. So what's the cure? Hmm? <laughs> Do you think the boy's story about the pirates is true? <laughs> I think I know what you're getting at. Oh, it does seem pretty incredible. But I've known the boy a long time. And I've never seen him quite so excited. Hmm, yes, it's almost contagious. How are you feeling now? Well, Doctor, there's something else I have to tell you. Yes, what is it? It's a very private matter. Mm-hmm. Should I leave? No, of course not. It's all right, Jimmy. Squire Trelawney is a very old friend. I'm not that old. I'm a friend and a patient. <laughs> Impatience more like it. What did you want to tell me, Jimmy? Well, I've got the map that belonged to Billy Bones. The one the pirates were looking for. It's supposed to be the map of Flint's treasure. Flint? Hmm. Did you say Flint? Yes, sir. Flint was the greediest, the most, most bloodthirsty pirate ever to fly out of space. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at this map. Oh, yeah. It was... I'm sure you'll find it if you, uh, keep on looking. <laughs> Here it is. But there's nothing on it. Well, that's what it is. The blind man Pew told the pirates to look for a paper with nothing on it. Well, nothing is not quite enough to find Flint's treasure, I'm afraid. Our sympathetic young boy. Well, oh, that's it. Sympathetic. The match written in sympathetic ink. Ah, everyone was doing that in space. Why, well, the fleet had a mania for it. I know 20 different ways of working it out myself. Sir? Come on. Come on. <laughs> To hell with it. That's two hours and nothing there, Jimbo. Now what? I've tried all the experiments I know. Tried the liquids, the acids, the anti-agents. None of them have worked so far. Neither have the ultraviolet rays, nor any of the gases we've used. It's glowing, Doctor. Yes, the process of bioluminescence. We've exposed it to light. <laughs> 